hey guys welcome back to another video it's going to be another base this time um it's going to be a c-wing base so just like last time i'll leave the speed paint of me drawing this base running in the background while i explain some of the features and a few of my head cannons for this tribe so starting off with the obvious c-wings can breathe underwater uh, they have webbed talons, which help them swim, and thick tails for the same reason. Uh, I usually draw them with bigger feet and smaller wings. The wings simply because I would think that since they spend most of their time swimming and don't really need to fly that often, they would evolve to have smaller wings. Uh, they also use their wings to sort of latch onto currents, which... They don't really need very big wings for that. Um, they have light up scales, which they use also to communicate in their underwater language, aquatic. They can see really well in the dark, despite that I don't think that they're nocturnal. Uh, I believe the only purpose they have for that is so that they can see even when they're really deep underwater. They eat raw fish and prey because they do not breathe fire, unlike the majority of Pyrian tribes. Um, I really, really love sealings as well because they live in a super unique habitat and have a lot of interesting features that are really fun to draw. Um, I really love how they have a lot of variation in their colors, not as much as silk wings and rain wings. But they can be blue, green, purple. Uh, usually they're sort of sea colored, but there are a few exceptions to that, like Anemone, who is pink and gray, and Shark, who is gray. Um, their queen is Queen Coral, and she has three living daughters currently, uh, which are Tsunami, Auklet, and Anemone. They are also, interestingly enough, the only tribe that has two palaces. They have the main one, which is underwater, um, it's called the Deep Palace, and they have one above land, I'm assuming for uh, land visitors, that is, other dragon tribes which cannot breathe underwater, it is called the Summer Palace. I like to give sea wings more rounded features, because I would think that they, that would help them be a little more quote-unquote aerodynamic. I would also think that they would have scales that are on the rather smoother side and don't have that rough texture that sand wings tend to have, uh, simply because, as I said before, it helps them swim through water better. Uh, sea wings would be bigger physically than sand wings because they have a lot more resources and are way more plentiful. For the same reason, I don't really think that they would be a physically slim, sort of skinny tribe. When I draw sea wings, I tend not to focus on the shape of their scales simply because I'm already drawing uh, their sort of light up patterns along their belly and sp and uh, back uh, and if I were to also draw their scales on top of that it would be too busy and draw attention away from the overall features and I tend to simplify with my art. For this reason although you may see me draw individual scales with most other tribes, I don't do that with sea wings. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I also hope that you have an absolutely fantastic week. Stay safe and I'll see you next Sunday.